We've got Colton here representing World Cat Boats. He's from Ocean Blue Yacht Sales. He's going to tell us a little bit about this 325 center console. Hey, what is this right here? What are you looking for, bud? Is this where the, how you turn the flux capacitor on? <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain Peterson. If this is your first time here and you love fast boats, freedom, and cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We got many more videos to come. All right, so this is the 325cc or the 325 center console from WorldCat. It's coming with twin 300 horsepower Yamahas. It's going to open up with a 10 and a half foot beam. It's going to carry the beam all the way to the bow of the boat. And then we're going to have in the cockpit it's a lot more spacious. They got rid of the recessed seating at the stern and in place, they put coolers. In this case, we've got two Yeti coolers here with cushions custom fitted for these coolers. So that gives the opportunity to move it out of the way so that when you're fishing, you've got a lot more space to access your live wells, both on the port and starboard of the boat. We've got six transom mounted rod holders as well as five shotguns just in the stern of the boat we've got 15 rod holders plus hull mounted rod holders one two three four five six seven eight all in the stern of the boat back here we've got another live well under the mezzanine seat this fish box as you know, if you're in a catamaran, you got a huge fish box in a center console because you are taking up all of that hull space since you have two hulls. You got this step down here for all of those that need the extra inch or two to be able to see over your bow. You're not getting a lot of bow rise on a boat like this. And then if you come over here, you've got your flush mounted Garmin screens. I mean, yeah. If everyone's not doing it by now, they should be. This is excellent. It just looks nice. You've got your toggle switches for all your controls that you need. And you've got your Yamaha steering binnacle, uh, power binnacle, as well as on this boat, we've got Optimus 360, the joystick steering, full maneuverability, plus the Optimus 360 virtual anchor, of course. Well, it's got the Fusion Audio plus JL Audio speakers all throughout the boat. So I know when I'm running my boat, if I'm not at the fish spot, I want to be bumping music. Once I get there, I might turn it off. I don't want to scare the fish. But, yeah, if you, you don't know. get a sub and JL Audio, everything, and some Garmin head units, you know, you're not, probably not doing it right. <laughs> probably not. Now we've got tons more storage. And, you know, something that you might not expect in the center of a catamaran, but we've got a huge storage box here in the center of a catamaran, which is really nice. I think they did a great job taking advantage of this seat up here. And then as well as the wraparound seats for when you're entertaining. And then of course you can remove these cushions when you pull a fish in, so you're not gonna get blood on the cushions. Or if you do, you can take it off and go scrub it down. And you got tons of storage up here too. These are all insulated and self-draining, which means you can put your ice in there, you can put your fish in there and you're not gonna have a problem. And how many of those are macerated, all these uh, boxes we got? So these are gonna be self-draining, uh, not macerated. Um, the macerated ones are gonna be your two on the port and starboard side in the hull. Has the live well got macerators in it also? And both of the, li all three live wells do. Of course, line storage, tube storage at the front. Uh, they're really taking advantage of the space that you get on the port and starboard given the two hull system of the catamaran. And then of course you've got USB inputs. These are power only. They're not gonna connect to your stereo system. However, if you're up here, you wanna take pictures of your, of your fishing experience, your battery's low, or you just, you know, you're like me and just like to have your phone plugged in as much as possible. You have the opportunity pretty much everywhere you walk on the boat. You can, or you can hire me and I can come and film all your fishing and you can be on my YouTube channel. Exactly. I love this guy. Tim's great. <laughs> so up at the bow of the boat, we got four at the mid placement rod holders. And then we got two at the very front. 
rod holders all over this place. I like the recessed cleats. That's really nice for people getting on and off the dock. People are always tripping them on my boat. WorldCat's done an excellent job and they've tried their darndest to make this boat as fishable as it possibly can be, which you can't say that about every other boat brand. Some people try and cut corners and WorldCat I think has done an excellent job at creating a very fishable experience for a great price. This is where the magic happens, guys. Table storage too. So Nice table storage right there. For those of you who don't like to utilize a bathroom on a ship, you can use it as a storage center, which pretty much is what everybody does on a center console anyway, especially if you're doing any real offshore stuff, you got a life wrapped in there. Exactly. Every catamaran uh, charter captain is envious of this thing, man. You could like have enough tools in here to fix your boat and tackle. That's where you put the magic stuff. Fire extinguisher, an actual place for your fire extinguisher. That's nice. You don't have to find a place for it. It comes with it. So this is very important. A friend of mine who's a deep sea charter captain on St. George Island. Hey, what's up, big fish? He uh, had a fire on his boat 40, 40, 50 miles out, and it was a bad day. He had uh, three, two or three fire extinguishers and had to use them all. It was an electrical fire. Good thing he had them. That's absolutely a good thing he had them. And, you know, it's not just the law, it's common sense, guys. And this one has two compartments for fire extinguishers, port and starboard, which... You don't find in every boat. Hey, what is this right here? What are you looking for, bud? Is this where the, how you turn the flux capacitor on? <laughs> That's exactly what, no. So this is actually gonna be for your outriggers. Uh, this is a this is a specified cleat for your outriggers. Um, it makes it makes hooking up a, just a hell of a lot easier. You don't have to find a place for it on your cleat. You don't have to drill into your hole. And you don't have to have any mar aftermarket stuff done. It's coming with the tacos already, and it's already got the cleats for it. It's ready to go. So at wide open throttle, this thing's hitting 56 miles an hour and getting one mile to the gallon with twin 350s, or 300s, I'm sorry, with twin 300s. It's excellent. And then at cruising speed, it's getting a, just a little over two miles per gallon, which if any of you know mono holes, no mono hole at cruising speed is getting two plus miles per gallon. There, it might be getting one. And this boat's getting two. This is an amazing boat. The fit and finish on these, as you guys know, is top notch. There's probably no better value for a catamaran on the market, especially with the longevity that World Cat has. I love the large fish boxes and the uh, sponsons, which is really cool. If you really want to know what I think about this boat, let's tell these guys uh, from World Cat in the comments below that you want me to take this thing out and do a demo ride for them, or even more importantly, take this thing out fishing and I can tell you what it's like. Uh, a lot of times people ask me in the comments of these videos, is this a good boat for trolling, for bottom fishing, how skinny does it get, all these different things. I, I can tell you what I think of it based on my experience, which is I like to think a good amount, but when you take a boat out and you use it and you see all the different things and you put fish in and you just learn things about a boat, and I would love to not only take this boat out just for a demo ride like you guys have seen before, but out fishing, maybe we get some veterans on here and uh, make it a big party. Um, if you guys believe that living a waterful life filled with big fast boats, cool gear is important to you and lots of freedom, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We got many more videos to come. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.